Hey everybody, I've been waiting to do a class with you on the beach, so here we are. This is the beach I come to and hang out every day, and I'm very um, honored to share it with you today. We're located almost exactly between Panama City Beach and the Rosemary Seaside area. So it's a very quiet area of the beach and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Our uh, flow today I've put together, it's, I named it a rain dance flow. We could use some rain around here and it has a lot of um, asking of the sky. There's a flying monkey where we're looking up to the heavens. There's a sky archer where we're sort of shooting a bow up into the clouds. It's a very beautiful practice today. Um, you'll get as much power out of it as you put into it, but it's a nice change of pace and a good place for you guys to be with me here. So we're going to start in nice, easy seated like we usually do. Find your sit bones, sit up nice and tall, lift the spine up toward the sky, take the shoulders, roll them down into the back. Take a nice big inhale through the nose. And then exhale, release it. <sighs> Going with the tide, inhale, bring in the breath, and exhale, let it go. Now from here, take those arms out to the side, and I want you to inhale, scoop upward, take the gaze with you up toward the sky, and then exhale, come down, take the chin down to the chest, fingers reaching out beside you. Two more, inhale, bring it up, and then exhale, bring it down. And then one more, inhale up and exhale down. Leave the chin down toward the chest and just gently rock that chin side to side. And then when you lift up, bring the left hand to the outside of the right temple fingers. Inhale, as you exhale, draw ear over to shoulder. Keep the shoulders down into the back, walk the fingertips out. On your inhale, lift the chin up as if you're looking up and over the right shoulder. And on the exhale, draw the chin downward like you're looking under and behind the armpit. One more. Inhale up and over. Exhale down and under. And then inhale, lift up. Reach left fingertips out. Bring right fingertips to left side of skull. Inhale. As you exhale, draw it over. Take a breath here. And then inhale up and over and exhale down and under. And inhale up and over and exhale down and under. And then inhale, lift up. Bring the left hand over to the right knee. Bring the right hand firm to the floor behind you. And then inhale, lengthen tall. And then exhale, start to gaze back, forming a little twist. And then on the next inhale, lengthen even higher. And then on the exhale, really twist and bow back. Or twist back. And then gently spin out of it. Go to the other side, right hand to left knee, left hand behind you. Inhale, lengthen tall. Exhale, start to twist and look back. Inhale again, and then exhale, really start to twist the spine, flatten the belly button to the back. And then release and bring it around. Cow and cat from seated. Inhale, shine your heart forward. Drop that head back, open your throat. And then exhale, bend and bow back. And give me another one. Inhale, shine the heart forward. And then exhale, bend and bow back. So we are gonna be on our hands today, so let's warm the wrists up. You're gonna sit to the tops of the shins, the tops of the feet, seat back to heels. If you need your block, use it. Press the hands into the mat, thumb mounds, knuckle pads, fingertips, and then just lift yourself, rock forward and back. And then set the seat back to the heels, spread the fingers wide, peel the palms off the mat and just rock around on those hands. And then lift up, turn the fingers toward the back of the mat, lower the heel of the hands down. Take a nice deep breath. And then from here, peel off those, stretch out the palms again. 
And then lift up and flip over. You're resting on the tops of the hands, opening up the fronts of the wrist. Just take a nice deep breath. And then from here, bring yourself to all fours, tabletop position. Hands right under shoulders, knees under hips, tabletop back. Cow and cat. Inhale, let the belly really sway down, lengthening out. Push the heart forward, lift the chin. That head's reaching for that tailbone. And then exhale, they're reaching underneath you. Tuck the tailbone under, belly button to spine, heart between shoulders. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And one more, inhale, cow. And then exhale, cat. Now neutral spine. So we're gonna get a little strength work right off the bat here. I want you to go ahead and extend the right leg straight back and then lift it up. You're in a three-legged tabletop. Inhale, as you exhale, arch the back like a cat, draw the knee to the chest. Inhale, take it straight back and then exhale as if you're doing chaturanga, tilt down. And then inhale, push up and exhale, bring in. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, tilt down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, take it out. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, up. Exhale, in. Inhale, out. Exhale, down. Four more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Three. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Curl your toe, lift your knee, push yourself back to three-legged dog. And then inhale, exhale, step right foot between thumbs. And then drop your left knee to the mat. Fall into a runner's lunge here, and if you need blocks, you can have two, one under each hand. Take a nice deep breath, inhale, exhale, one more. Now shift yourself back, we're gonna go to a half split. So hip is tracking over knee, right leg is extended straight forward, flex the foot. Nice deep breath here, inhale, Exhale, one more. So bring your right hand to the inside and walk this around and that back foot's gonna go behind you. So we're resting on the left knee, right leg's extended out, arms are extended out. Inhale, as you exhale, let the right hand slide down the thigh as the left arm reaches over ear, creating an arch here on the left side body. And then inhale, bring it to center, and then exhale, lower to the floor on the left, and you can use a block here, and then reach right arm over ear. One more round each side. Inhale up, exhale, over. Inhale up, exhale, over. Now inhale up, and then bring your hands to the center, and root that right foot into the mat, and let this thigh rotate back and around and see if you can come down to your forearms for an inner thigh stretch. Two breaths, inhale, exhale, one more. Now you come up and you're gonna walk your hands back around framing that foot, bring that leg back. Slide your heel back and tilt forward so you're back to runner's lunge. Curl the back toes, lift that knee off the mat and bring yourself back to tabletop position. Take your left leg straight back, lift up. Inhale, exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend back, exhale, tilt down. Inhale up, exhale in. Inhale out, exhale down, six. Inhale, exhale, Inhale, exhale, five. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale, three, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now curl the right toes, lift up, three-legged dog, inhale, exhale, step the foot between the thumbs. Drop the right knee and sink into the hips. Nice deep breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Now you tilt back to that half split, straightening that left leg. Toes point up toward the sky or the ceiling. Nice deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. And then you walk your hands around to the left. I'll be turning my back to you here, but this is a different way for you to see how this works. Lift up. Shoulders are directly over hips. Arms are out. Inhale, exhale. Left hand travels down leg. Right arm reaches up and over ear. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, right comes down to floor or block. Left reaches, lift that sideways. One more time, inhale up, exhale over, and inhale up, exhale over. Now from here, you're gonna come to center. You're gonna make sure that foot is rooted and you're gonna drop down for that inner thigh stretch. Nice deep breaths, inhale, exhale, one more. So as you come up, you just pivot back around, slide that foot back, tilt it forward, curl the back toes, lift the knee, and then step toward the front of your mat. Kind of just jiggle the hips out, the legs out. Fingertips to the floor or the shins. Inhale, half lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, come all the way up. And then exhale, open the heart wide. And then inhale up, exhale, fold down. Step back right. And if you want a power option, step back left and stack toes on heel. You can modify, you can drop the knees. Inhale, exhale, come down. Inhale, push back up. Exhale, come down. Unstack the feet, scoop it up, cobra or up dog, shine the heart forward. Come to the knees, curl the toes, push back to down dog. Take a nice deep breath. Walk, step, or hop forward. One more round. Inhale as you half lift and lengthen. Exhale as you fold. Inhale as you rise, come on up. Exhale as you open the heart. Inhale, right back up. Exhale as you fold. And this time, step back left. And if you like, stack right toes on left heel. Inhale, exhale, come down. Inhale, push right back up. Exhale, come down. Unstack the feet, scoop up. Cobra or up dog. Back to down dog. Take a deep breath. So bring yourself forward. We're gonna start from forward fold. Inhale, half lift and lengthen, and then exhale, soften your knees. Step back with your left foot, right knee over right ankle, and rise up to crescent. Shoulders over hips, engage through that back leg. Everything's nice and strong here. Two breaths, inhale. Exhale, one more. So flying monkey is similar to a high skandasana. You're gonna spin that back heel in and you're gonna bend that knee toward that corner of your mat. You're gonna lift the right toes up and you're gonna draw down toward the right toes. And then the left arm is reaching. Two breaths, inhale, exhale, one more. Now when you come up, warrior two, right knee over ankle, left foot firm to the mat behind you, 
arms are reaching, two breaths, inhale, exhale, one more. So Sky Archer, you're going to straighten that front leg. You're going to reach back and the left hand's going to grab the right wrist and you're going to push the hips up as you fold back. Inhale and look up toward the sky. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Now you bend that knee and you're going to cartwheel down, framing the foot. Spin the back heel off the mat. Take this back. And then I want you to take, spin to the left and your inner right leg is either going to stretch out underneath you for staggered. You can support your side plank or you can take it out. Wherever you are, two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Now from here, bring it to pigeon. Drop it down. Inhale, lift up proudly. Exhale. One more breath. So when we lift this pigeon, we're going to spin it to wild thing and that right foot's going to come off the mat to the left. So you lift up, take it out from under, you drop it back behind you and raise up to wild thing. Engage into it, two breaths, inhale, exhale, one more. So bring it back around, bring it to pigeon momentarily, and then you're going to bring that left leg around and you're going to bring the foot to the outside of that left leg. So I, I'll bring the right leg, left foot to outside of right thigh, if you can get there. Inhale, sit up tall and hug in. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more. So we're going to, our leg positioning is going to change here as far as dominance. So put your left foot in front of the right shin. And then lift yourself up and bring the left hand down to the mat and take the right leg back. Spin the hip open, flex the foot, and find your half moon. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Now as you come down, bring the right hand down, bring the right knee to the back of that left calf. Drop the foot over to the left. Lift to your curtsy. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more. So from here, you're going to bring the right hand down. You're going to pick that right foot up and step it back. You're going to lift that left arm up to the sky. Two breaths, inhale, exhale. Now inhale, take that left arm forward, you're gazing down. Inhale, as you exhale, left elbow to right knee. Inhale, full extension out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Two more, inhale, exhale. And one more, inhale. Exhale. Now bring your feet both to the mat. Open them up about hips width. We're going to go through a crow, which will be interesting for me in the sand. So we shall see. Raise your heels. Let your knees go out to the side. Arch your back big like a cat. Knees to elbows. Gauge the core. Come to the tippy toes. And if it's available to you, lift up. And then lower down and we're going to be firm into the left foot and I want you to take the right leg straight back. Warrior three. Arms can be heart center. They can be to the side. Wherever they need to be. Now nice and slowly inhale bring that leg through. 
And then exhale, extend the leg out, bring the arms up. Two breaths, inhale, exhale. One more, bring it down and shake it out. We're gonna do that on the other side. Let's go through our vinyasa. Inhale up, exhale, open. Inhale up, exhale, fold. Good, step back right. And if you want, stack toes on right heel. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, down. Flatten feet, scoop up. Inhale, exhale, take it back. Deep breath. Walk, step, or hop forward one more time. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, bring it up. Exhale, open. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Step back left, and if you want, stack right on left heel. Inhale, exhale, down. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Now scoop up, inhale, and then exhale back. So walk it forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, soften and fold. Pick your right foot up and step back. We're rising to crescent, so be very firm into your feet. Left knee over left ankle, arms up. Nice deep breaths here. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. So this goes to flying monkey. So it's sort of like a high skandhasan. You're gonna bend, that back foot's pointing to the corner. You're gonna bend that knee and you're gonna reach left fingers toward left toes. Two breaths, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. As you come up, Warrior two, two breaths, inhale, exhale, one more. So this goes to Sky Archer, we straighten, we reach left arm back, right hand grabs that wrist, lift the toes and stretch yourself out, inhale, exhale, one more. So from here, you're gonna cartwheel down, frame the foot, and then bring it to pigeon. Drop it down. And this is a proud pigeon, so lift it high. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale. So you're gonna lift up, and you're gonna flip it to wild thing. So take that left foot over to the right, lift up high. Inhale, exhale. Now you're gonna bring it back around like you're going to pigeon, bring the left knee in, and then swing the right leg around to the outside if you can. If not, in front is fine. Take that left arm, hug that leg into you as you sit up tall, and you can gaze back over that right shoulder. Two breaths, inhale. Exhale, one more. So from here, bring the right foot in front of the left and this is where we're shifting legs. Hands to heart, lift yourself up. Bring the right hand down and if you need your fingers, leave the left hands down, open the hip. And then if you have your balance, rise it up, opening hips and chest, half moon. Two breaths, inhale, exhale, one more. Now bring the hand down, bring that left knee to the back of the right calf, drop the foot over, come up to that curtsy. Nice deep breaths, inhale, exhale, one more. 
So from here, bring the left hand down to the mat. Pick the left foot up, step it back, reach the right arm up. Give me a nice full breath here, lifting out of that left shoulder. Inhale, exhale. Now reach the right arm forward and your chest turns downward toward the mat. Inhale, as you exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend out, exhale, elbow to knee. Two more. Inhale, exhale. And one more. Inhale, exhale. Good. Now put that foot down and you're going to attempt your crow. And I say attempt. You do not have to do it. Just try to get through it. So the feet are open a little more than hips distance, generally about the width of your mat. Toes out, heels are in, lift the heels high, drop a bit to a squat. Elbows point straight back, arch your back like a cat, pull your core in. Bring your knees to your triceps or near your armpits. Lift it if you can. If you're on a toe, that's okay. If you're on both toes, that's okay. Drop it down. Now when you come down, you're gonna firm yourself into your right foot. You're gonna extend the left straight back. Hips are level. Bring it up to your warrior three. And then nice and slowly, bring that left leg through. Take the leg out, reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, one more. Bring it down and shake it all out. <laughs> so on the next round, I will be adding extras, little add-ons. Just do what you can, play with it, be playful with your practice. So find your footing, be firm into your mat, take a deep breath. Inhale, scoop up. Exhale, open the heart. Inhale, up. Exhale, bring it down. Step back right. And if you want, stack those left toes on that right heel. Inhale, exhale, bring it down. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, bring it down. Unstack the feet, scoop up, cobra or up dog and then back to down dog. One more time, walk it forward. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, exhale, open. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Step back left, and if you want, stack right. Inhale, Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Unstack, scoop up. Cobra or up dog. And back. Down dog. Walk it forward. Very much the same as the last round, but a few little extra things for you. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Pick your left foot up. Step it way back for crescent and inhale, rise. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Inhale, bring it up a bit. Exhale, down. And one more. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Now, flying monkey, shift. Toes point toward the corner. Lift the right heel. Booty drops back. Inhale, exhale. Now, inhale, warrior two. And we're going to go back and forth between these two. So again, inhale, exhale, flying monkey. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, flying monkey. And one more. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, flying monkey. So bring it to the warrior two. And then straighten. Left hand grabs right wrist, lift the right toes, stretch yourself out. Look up toward the sky, inhale, exhale, one more. Now cartwheel down, framing that foot, 
spin that back heel off the mat and then you're going to draw that leg up and you're going to spin to the right where you're either going to take the leg out or you're going to drop it down or you're going to hold it up inhale and if you want exhale take it out inhale exhale one more bring it to pigeon and drop it down inhale lift it up one more breath so this pigeon is going to flip to wild thing curl the toes lift up flip it behind you lift inhale exhale inhale exhale bring it back to pigeon and then swing back leg around hug in and if you want reach back inhale lengthen exhale twist one more now bring the foot in front see if you can keep the hands not using them lift lift your seat off the floor bring the left hand down spin the hip open find firmness and lift that right arm up two breaths inhale exhale one more now bring the hand down and bring that right knee to the back of the left calf drop the foot over drop the seat back bring it up and then from here you're going to inhale lengthen a bit and you're going to exhale drop low inhale up exhale down two more inhale up exhale down and last one inhale up exhale down bring the right hand down to the floor pick the right foot up step it back lift up and you're lifting out of the shoulder nice deep breath now extend the left arm forward chest turns toward the floor inhale exhale give me that crunch inhale extend exhale crunch two more inhale extend exhale crunch and last one inhale extend exhale crunch now leave this crunch reach behind you with your left hand grab your right foot lift the knee up toward the sky and fold in inhale exhale one more now bring it down and we're going to go for our crow again and even if you don't want to do crow sit in malasana yogi squat you can be here or you can attempt crow firm your hands to the mat raise the heels arch the back engage the core knees to those armpits see what you've got now lower down left foot firms to the mat take the right straight back keep the hips level to the floor warrior three bring it through extend it up now you're going to go to eagle legs cross right over left hands to heart center sit down two breaths and if you want you can go to full eagle left crosses over right inhale exhale one more come up and shake it out same thing other side firm into the feet inhale bring it up exhale open inhale bring it up exhale fold step back right stack left inhale exhale bring it down inhale bring it up flip it to wild thing lift stack left toes on right heel inhale exhale inhale up flip it good bring it back chaturanga scoop up cobra or up dog and then back to down dog 
walk it forward one more time. The wild things are just an option. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, open. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Step back left, step back right. Stack if you like, inhale. Exhale down, inhale up, spin it over, lift up. Bring it back around, stack. Inhale, exhale, inhale up, open it up, wild thing. Bring it back, unstack. Inhale, regular chaturanga down, scoop up, cobra or up dog. Back to down dog. Take a breath. Walk it forward. Let's get through this last round. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Soften the knees. Pick that right foot up. Step it way back. Crescent, left lead. Rise up. Inhale, exhale. Spin it open. And then you've got that flying monkey. So bending the right knee, extending over that front left leg is straight. See if you can touch the toes. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more. And then we go back. We come to warrior two. And we're going to go back and forth. So it's inhale, warrior two. Exhale, flying monkey. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, flying monkey. Two more. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, flying monkey. And last one. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, flying monkey. So I want you to bend to warrior two. Straighten that front left leg. Right hand grabs left wrist. Stretch it out and then lift the ball of the foot off the mat. Toes point up. Inhale. Exhale. Now cartwheel down and we're going to take this to our side plank. So firm your hands to the mat. Lift that left leg up and spin so that you're on the left hand. That inner left knee can stack in front. You can drop or you can hold it up and extend it straight out. Inhale. Exhale. One more. So you bring it down and you bring it to pigeon. Drop it in. Lift it up proud. This pigeon flips itself to wild things. So firm your hands, curl your toes, lift up, flip it back. Bring it back to pigeon. And then pick that back foot up and bring it around. To the outside of the thigh if you can, if not in front is fine. Left is going to hug around and hug in. You sit up tall and if you want, reach back. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, find some twist. Bring it back around, pick the foot up and bring it in front of the shin. Hands in front, lift up. Bring the right hand down and see if you can lift this straight up to your half moon. The sand is challenging me. It's good. Now from here, lower that knee to that calf. Foot goes to the right. Find your curtsy. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And one more. Inhale up. Exhale down. And I think we got one more. Inhale up, exhale down. Now, come down. Oh, reach that, I'm sorry, reach that leg back. Left leg reaches back. Left hand to the mat. Right arm reaches up. Reach high. We're in that twisted lunge. And then extend the right arm forward. Chest faces the floor. Inhale, exhale, crunch. Good. Inhale, out. 
exhale, crunch. Two more, inhale, exhale, and last one, inhale, exhale. Now we have either your malasana squat, yogi squat, or you can work on that crow. If you're gonna work on that crow, those hands are very, very firm to the floor. Use your grip on the floor. Elbows point back like you're going to a chaturanga. Arch that back, use that core. Find your lift. Drop it down. So now we're gonna be in the right foot and you're gonna lift the left leg back. Rise up. Your warrior three. Hips and shoulders square to the floor. Bring it up. Arms up, leg forward. Cross left over right, sit down. Eagle legs. Hands at heart center or take right out. Take left out, right over left. And then inhale, bring it up and shake it out. So everybody open up to your yogi squat. Sit down, sit up tall. And then from here, I just want you to sit back. Take your right leg out straight and bring the left sole of the left foot to the inner right thigh. Inhale, lengthen up, and then as you exhale, I want the left hand to come to the outside of the right foot and then the right hand is reaching behind you. And you're gonna walk your hands out as you fold in. Nice deep breaths, inhale. Exhale, one more. And then inhale, lift it up. Change it out, left forward, right in. Inhale, sit up tall, exhale, right hand goes to outside of left foot, left hands behind you. And you walk them out as you fold in. Inhale, exhale, one more. And then come up, Baddha Konasana, butterfly, bring the soles of the feet together. Grab around the toes and lengthen up tall. And then inhale, as you exhale, let the elbows go out to the side as you keep a long spine and start to fold in. Like you're gonna smell your toes. And just keep folding, opening up those inner thighs. And then inhale, lift up. All right, so you are welcome to lie down on the mat, extend yourself out. I'm gonna lead you through a brief meditation or shavasana. So lie down, kind of focus on the sound of the waves. They're like your breath, the inhale, the exhale, the incoming, the outgoing. Let yourself become heavy. And maybe for the next few minutes, you're at the beach with me. Feel the gentle breeze on your skin, the warmth, the smell, the sound. Feel the soft sand underneath you. And let your breath become the tide. Relax your toes, your feet, your ankles. Soften your calves. Let the whole leg turn outward. The feet, the knees, the hips. Become very soft on your mat. Relax the glutes.
the pelvic floor, the belly. Let your spine be very heavy and soft. Feel the billows of your breath with your rib cage on the inhales and the exhales. Relax your heart. Let your shoulders be wide, broad on the mat. And relax your arms. Let them be heavy out beside you, soft and relaxed through your palms and the tips of your fingers. Lengthen the back of your neck and soften your throat. Relax your jaw. Relax your tongue and your lips and your cheeks all the way to your ears. Let your eyes be heavy, let your brow be smooth. And you are welcome to stay here as long as you like. Sincere gratitude to me for tuning into this channel. I make mistakes in these flows, but you know what? That's what I like about it. I would make them if you were in class with me. So I leave them in. But I hope you enjoyed the class. I hope you were enjoying the 